Welcome to the we have, we have minutes to approve from uh, back in age library, right? May 2nd. Okay. We didn't, we didn't approve the minutes last time either because we That's didn't, right. a lot of the guys didn't, uh, didn't have a break. So, uh, we have a quorum. Is, is there, John, are you, are you on? Are you, John? Yes. How are you? Good. Good. Um, Good. So, uh, so first, I'd like to have a motion to approve the April uh, minutes. If there's, if there's no addition, can I have a motion, please? Uh -huh. All in favor? Uh, uh -huh. And can I have a motion to approve the May meetings? Yes. All in favor? Um, and the regular meeting tonight um, is no house proposal by application 23 05 W proposal by Little House Living LLC to construct residential dwelling units and discharge drainage at the upper area on lot 10, block 114 at 1676 Berlin Turnpike. And I understand, Jim, they're, they're not here tonight because they just want here. Speaking of correspondence, they're, submitted. they're requesting to uh, request the commission schedule a public hearing for the July 9th. Can I have a motion to uh, uh, application 23.05 to have a public hearing uh, next month? Can I have a second? All in favor? Aye. Um, now, Jim, you have some. You have some uh, uh, Jim, you have Since there are no people, John, can you hear us now? I can hear you now. Yes. Okay, good. good. So, Mr. Chairman, as far as other business goes, I guess first and foremost, um, we spoke about it a couple of months ago with the Algonquin gas transmission folks. Um, had a dire need to repair a section of their transmission line. I believe it's a 36 inch pipe that runs in the neighborhood of uh, New Park Drive and the Berlin Turnpike to the west through a piece of wetland to the intersection of Tollgate Road and Orchard Road. Um, I was advised last week that that project is probably going to start perhaps either this evening or tomorrow. Oh. Um, it's going to be a 24-7 project once they start. They, you know, they just plow right through it. Um, in terms of the work itself, it's more it's a maintenance type activity, which you know they have the right to do, right. and the any disturbances will be minimal. So we'll just keep you posted if anything does happen there. Um, it, we couldn't stop many ways because no, our utilities. No. And they, and they have alerted all the neighbors. Um, oh, okay. They've gotten permission from the zoning department to work 24 seven. So it's, yes, Bill. Does Algonquin, do they have a uh, field staff on site? Yes, they, yes they do. Are, they, yes. are you in contact with individuals who are 
overseeing their activities from, from a um, sort of uh, from a weapons standpoint. Yes, they're keep, keeping me advised. And uh, last yeah. weekend they called and said to get them geared up for it. We just want to let you know. And yes, <laughs> okay. I'll swing out there during the week and see how things are going. So. So that's that for uh, the Algonquin. Um, the Memorial Day weekend, I guess, was quite a weekend. Um, neighbors were watching neighbors <laughs> throughout town. And um, come Tuesday morning, I received three complaints slash violations from activities. Um, one was a written complaint, anonymous. Uh, the other two were you know, called in. I'm working on those. The first of them is on Cole Lane, resident at number 192 Cole. According to their neighbors, um, went in and did some clearing on the property, brought some topsoil in, graded the property off and reseeded it. Through a little bit of investigation on the parcel to the north of it, back in 19, no, excuse me, not 19, like 2003, a rear lot was developed. At that point in time, they delineated the wetlands along the front portion of Cole Lane, and the soil scientists actually went into the portion of the property at 192 and flagged wetlands so we know there's something there. Um, the property owner came in. We've had a number of phone calls back and forth, but the, the folks at 192 actually came in on Friday. I spoke to them, you know, advised them that um, it's, it's not the type of thing that we like to start a paper trail on per se, you know, when sending out violation notices, I advise them to retain a land surveyor to go out and do a top topographic survey of their backyard and also to retain a soil scientist to flag the wetlands where they you know, run into their property. They agreed to do that. So we'll give it some time. You know, as I said, it's rather than start a paper trail, they're cooperative at this point in time. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, we've had a number of complaints over probably the past six months um, regarding a number of properties in the 500 block of Deming Road. If you're Deming Road, and this is opposite the Home Depot entrance on Deming Road, there's three or four industrial properties there. There's a plaza, um, I believe there's a Domino's Pizza in there but it's essentially the properties to the east of there, the next three or four, where the property, someone knew, someone knew has gone in and purchased the properties. They cleared out the rear portions of the properties, trying to clean them up. They abut the Matabasa River. Um, I believe they brought some fill in there. They have a contract for storing materials in the floodway, the floodplain of the river. I've had a number of discussions with that property owner. And at this point, he has been cooperative to the point where he's retaining a, a, a civil engineer to put a site plan together on one of the parcels. We're asking for um, the floodway, floodplain delineations on the plan. Once he provides that information, we'll see what we have. We can go back in time from aerial to see just what's really happened there. I suspect he's filled within that area, which well, this is something the second, we're gonna have this to do. This is the second with. time he's yes. gone out because a couple months ago there was yeah. whether it's the same person or not yeah. anonymously. It is, yeah. Same same letter yeah. in there. Um, so that's number two. And then number three is a uh, situation mm -hmm. that we've dealt with in the past. On Great Oak Drive, um, the intersection of Great Oak Drive and Victoria Court. It's off the Chamberlain Highway. Um, it was a subdivision that was developed back in the early 2000s. Um, they're well established neighborhoods, but we have a lot of open space. Um, with one particular property owner, we've had a problem in the past where they encroached into the open space to a, a conservation area. We actually um, actually spent about a year going back and forth. It actually went into the courts. Um, we have a 
a stipulated agreement that allows for a conservation easement that the property owner that I suspect has violated that agreement again, signed off on. So I'm just trying to put my ducks in a row before we really get into that one. Yes. So when you say encroach, what is, what the, is the neighbors are, are saying um, he's going in, cleared debris, vegetation, riding four uh, oh, quads, okay. that type of thing into it. Um, it's a subdivision that the town actually took over from a developer uh, 15 years ago, and all of the improvements were never completed, particularly some fencing and signposting, identifying that open space area. Um, so our thought is to advise the three property owners in that area that we're gonna come in. We still have bond money left from the subdivision. Um, the thought is to install fencing that was originally required. Install it, put it in that area. And if this property owner approaches again, then it's, it's pretty blatant. So none of these uh, violations are easy to deal with. It's always a he said, she said, and they drag on forever. But we'll keep you posted on where we stand over the next couple of months. Um, the, the only one that, that I'm concerned about is one on Tollgate Road. Well, you're in him? We actually planted the- uh, Oh, we did? Yeah, the last couple, half a dozen. Okay. Yeah. Plants so you're, 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 you're satisfied with what? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It looks- Yeah, it looks nice. It really, yeah. really does look nice. Um, I'm just not crazy about that, that plank, that metal plank he's got. But, um, other than that, is no, any any other correspondence? No, that's it. All right. Um, if there's no other business, um, make a motion to adjourn. To adjourn. Can I have a second? second? All in favor? Aye. Guys, thanks for coming, showing up, and keeping Lisa company. And... I said quarter after. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, it sounds like a tired.